It's 2020, y'all, and guess what? We're back. That's right. We're back at Six Flags, and uh, at the gate, we got held up because we couldn't bring our gimbal in. Yeah, no stabilizers allowed. Uh, they say it's been a rule for a while, but it seems like they're just now starting to enforce it. Uh, we saw a little bit of that in uh, D.C. at Six Flags America, and uh, we're starting to see more of that now. No gimbal today, but uh, it's not the end of the world. It's just going to be a, a nice handheld vlog for you. Uh, I plan to follow up with Six Flags Corporate, uh, and I will be applying for my uh, Associated Press membership. Yeah, you uh, gotta, you gotta be a uh, VIP to get in with the gimbal, apparently. You gotta be VIP and AP, but uh, it's all good because I'll be, I'll be able to bring anything in that I want. I'm gonna bring in a whole boom truck. Uh, we're gonna bring in uh, RE cameras, or yeah. we're gonna shoot a feature-length film here. Infrared, laser cameras, all that stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know, just gotta Drums. be in the cool kids club. That's all. So anyway, uh, what are we doing here today? Uh, well, on the way in, we checked out. Uh, we're doing some retracking on Mindbender. So, it appears to our surprise, we didn't know about this, but they are uh, doing some retracking work over here on Mindbender. Uh, some of these sections, like this section right here before the drop through the trees, uh, that's all brand new. That's uh, shiny new steel here. But they've got the booms out, and uh, they've got entire sections of the track removed starting over here. Looks like they're going to retrack that, that helix, which was uh, a little rough in the past. So uh, just good to see that they're uh, preserving this. It's not going anywhere. It's an ace landmark. And... Uh, yeah, nice to see them putting a little love into it. <clears throat> ah, that's that uh that's that nasty six flag water. Anyway, uh spring machine, blue hawk, we'll head over towards that way. Third, let's do it. Just noticed some new uh additions this year. They uh, have added a little porch outside of this uh water mill here. Uh a little tank of some sort. They're definitely trying to uh add some scream punk kind of theming. They've added these pipes to the outside of the mill. Uh, if you remember last year, we opened that door a couple times to see what was in there. Uh, they added a bench, some other little pipe works and whatnot. And uh, yeah, this is definitely new. It looks old, but this was not there last year. And then, strangely enough, if you come over here, look, you can just go in and what the hell? Why is there a wheelchair in there? What happened? So yeah, Thunder River is open today and it's not even quite 60 degrees, so if you want to get cold and wet, you can do that. Uh, but on another note, I think it's noteworthy to just kind of point out the signage here. It's really cool. Well, we can see it from here. Pandemonium is easily an hour wait. I can just tell by uh, where that queue starts. Uh, and these have really long ride cycles, so we'll probably skip pandemonium today, but it is running. Uh, another change I've noticed, this old uh, lemonade stand here is boarded up, so there could be some changes coming in this area too. Maybe a new food stand, maybe they're knocking it down. We don't know. Alright, first ride of the season looks like it's going to be Blue Hawk.
Guys, we got some breaking Six Flags over Georgia news. Is that is that track on site for the new 4D free spin? It's all rusted up, but yeah. Maybe Six Flags uh, got the used uh, leftovers or something else. All right, yeah, we uh, got a ride on Blue Hawk. Got a ride on Superman. What you think? Uh, I must say, fun ride on Superman. Good ride on Blue Hawk too. Uh, we uh, tested out the footage on these uh, camera ones. Yeah, hopefully if you saw some uh, good footage from that, that means it was good enough for us to use. So, who knows? We'll find out in post. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, we saw uh, a little bit more of the retracking of uh, Great American Scream Machine. Looks like it's coming along nicely. They're reworking that whole first hill, uh, lift hill, the first drop. Uh, and then it looks like they're planning on hitting that back section too. Hopefully fixing that uh, horrendous final break run that we love to make fun of so much. We'll see. Oh, and also, check this out too. The uh, Joker Funhouse Coaster, one of the rarest credits ever here at Six Flags Over Georgia, is actually running today. So, uh, Chris, where are you at, man? Airtime Thrills. You finally can get this credit. You just got to pop over here today. It's March 8th. You're probably seeing this way after that. You missed it. Damn. All right, something else kind of new for 2020, or just some changes we're noticing, is the old Coca-Cola Freestyle building. Has uh, tarps down and looks like uh, they're remodeling inside. So we'll see what comes here in the future. All right, so uh, day one is about halfway done. We got a, got a little bit more time left in the park. I don't know, so far first impressions are about as expected, I would say. Yeah, below average, uh, but that's just because the season's not in full swing yet. Yeah, it's to be expected early on in the season. They're ironing out the kinks, they're <clears throat> still finishing up some things that they should have already finished up by now in my opinion, but hey, you know, I don't run this park, I just come to it. But uh, yeah, we're going to try to grab some more rides on whatever we can, maybe Twisted Cyclone, maybe Goliath. Goliath is the only roller coaster running more than one train that's operating today at this park. So that's our one chance to maybe not stand in a really long line. We'll check it out. Oh yeah, this is looking like a walk-on with two trains. Station weight at the very least. Yeah, not too bad. Scorcher appears to be stuck on the lift hill. Don't pull out your phones on the ride, people. That's probably why it stopped. If I were a bet man. Oh yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Shout out to Ron Ebert, the uh, maintenance director from 79 to 14. 40 years of dedicated service. We appreciate your work, sir. And it looks like he did a lot of work on Blue Hawk. Miss Melinda Ashcraft was the park president from 04 to 2013. That's 45 years of dedicated service. Shout out to you, Miss Melinda. You probably helped uh, a lot of people have some pretty awesome childhoods and some adulthoods, too. All right, guys, that, uh, that about wraps it up. For uh, our day here at Six Flags Over Georgia, it's opening weekend. Uh, a lot of the rides were down. We need another lap around. 
the park and uh you know we just decided to head out uh kind of a bittersweet day you know we're happy to be back and uh kick the season off again but you know it just didn't seem like they were they were ready to to have the crowds come in yeah that's the bottom line you know they, they just weren't prepared and you know for us it's not that big of a deal being season pass holders and this being our home park you yeah. know we'll be here plenty i would have uh, been pissed if, if i would have bought like a day pass oh yeah came in pay twenty dollars to park and then you come in and have this minimal experience uh you know i just wish they'd kind of tighten up a little bit because you know for some people they uh plan for the, these kind of trips and it's a big deal for them and to come here and not get to ride certain rides or yeah. to only be running one train and have to wait in line for an hour you know it's it's a shame uh you know but uh with with the bad comes the good too we definitely got some good rides on some of our favorite coasters and uh you know, it's uh, it's exciting, man. It's it's the beginning of the 2020 season. Uh, it looks to be a really, really big year for us, and and uh, we're just excited to be back in in a park of any sort. Yeah, we are, we are, and uh, we're uh, headed out into the bright sun, and uh, that pretty much is gonna do it for today for uh, TP Coasters. I'm Mike, and I'm Jimmy, and uh, we'll catch you out at the parks. Peace. Peace out.